thank him also for the answers to prayers that you have not prayed in vain but that god has heard you are you thanking god let your voice be heard on high make sure you are giving the glory unto god this morning make sure you are giving the glory unto god this morning remember everything by prayer supplication and with thanksgiving your request is made known unto god the supplication is not complete without appreciation the intercession is not perfected without appreciation give thanks unto his name give praise unto him we don't assume thanksgiving we give it appreciate him celebrate him glorify him now ask him to speak to you this morning by his word day unto day utter speech and night unto night shows knowledge there is a word for the day speak to me this morning speak to me this morning by your word speak to me this morning thank you father and thank you lord in jesus precious name we have prayed our father this morning we are grateful for the privilege that we have to be in your presence we thank you today for the testimonies we have heard they are your doings and they are marvelous in our eyes thank you father for the answers to our prayers we give you all the glory and now this morning lord we ask that you will speak to us let your word change us in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus precious name give jesus a big hand and please you may be seated in his presence it is my year of breaking limits our line of exhortation all through this week has been engaging biblical mentality in stewardship and we have come to recognize that our stewardship requires the right mindset to bring about the right deliveries proverbs 23 verse 7 says as a man thinketh in his heart so is he your reality therefore is determined by your mentality it is your mentality that ultimately determines your experience the bible makes clear in genesis 13 verse 14 and 15 it says, lift up your eyes look north look south look east look west as far as you can see it shall be given unto you so your experience is driven by your mentality what you see determines how you live that is why it's important that we have the right perspective concerning stewardship when it comes to stewardship we have come to recognize that we must possess a source mentality we saw that you must possess an investor's mentality we even saw that you must possess an appointment mentality and this morning we're going to go further as we see that you must possess a partnership mentality stewardship is spiritual partnership everyone that is on the go for christ is in partnership with him in matthew chapter 28 and verse 20 the bible puts it this way jesus having commanded his disciples he said teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i command you and as you do this he said lo i am with you always the presence and the partnership of christ is secure by our commitment to his task there is no man or woman that is on assignment from god that will lack the presence of god in first corinthians 3 and verse 9 paul the apostle speaking he said for we are laborers together with god that is a partnership term we are laborers together with god every time you find a man or woman on assignment building the kingdom of god advancing the kingdom of god they have entered into partnership with god and partnership is a covenant relationship god speaking to abraham put it this way in genesis 17 and verse 4 he said as for me behold my covenant is with thee as for me behold when you enter into partnership you have entered into a covenant relationship in other words it means that you have entered into a relationship with specific terms and benefits when you engage the terms you secure the benefits and the beauty of partnership with god is that the benefits are not just promises but rather they are covenant provisions what does that mean it means that it is backed up with an oath in the book of hebrews chapter 6 from verse 16 down to verse 18 the bible makes us to understand there it says for men verily swear by the greater 
and an oath for confirmation is to them the end of all strife. He said in verse 17, God willing more abundantly to show the immutability of his counsel, he confirmed it with an oath so that by two immutable things by which it was impossible for God to lie, we may have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold on the hope that is set before us. In other words, when you engage with God, when you partner with God on this covenant platform, what happens is that God swears the promises. The promises are not just provisions, but they are covenanted. They are backed with an oath. That by two immutable things by which it was impossible for God to lie, we may be able to have the strong assurance that all that God has said will come to pass. In other words, when a man is in partnership with God, he can be sure of the future. The future is not guesswork. It's too sure of tomorrow when you have that covenant partnership mentality. And that is why it becomes important that we are not just engaging and acting as though it is in futility, but we recognize that our engagement is with a covenant perspective. Paul the Apostle put it this way. He said, I know whom I believed. And I am persuaded that he's able to keep that which I have committed to his trust. I know whom I have believed. I am too sure of the one I am working with. I have not been working alone. I have been working for God. You see, every time a person is committed to advancing God's kingdom, you have committed God to advancing your life. And that takes place because he partners with you. Shout hallelujah. Jesus appeared to Paul the apostle in Acts 18 and said to him, he said in Acts 18 and verse 9 and 10, he said to him, he said, stand up and speak. Be not afraid, but speak and hold not thy peace. He said, because I have much people in this city. And as you do that, he said, I am with thee. The person who is advancing God's cause cannot lack God's presence. The presence of God will always back the one advancing his cause. And when the presence of God is backing you, no one can be against you. Shout hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 and verse 31. The Bible says, that if God be for us, he said, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? So the moment you secure God's partnership, you secure God's backing, you become more than a conqueror. You become what? more than a conqueror because anybody fighting you is fighting God and anyone fighting God has chosen to lose the battle the Bible says who is it that striveth with his maker you can't fight with God and succeed anyone who fights God naturally fails the outcome is too sure and that is why when an individual is partnering with God he is too sure of success and breakthrough because no matter what stands in his way God is the one that fights on his behalf shout hallelujah I say shout hallelujah. You see, there are those who fight for themselves. They engage in many, many battles. They, they pray and seek God to fight on their, their, their sick. They are fighting every day. Some people fight in the sleep, fight while awake, battle all the time. But then there are others who are simply advancing God's kingdom and God is fighting on their behalf. Somebody thinks evil about them and God responds. Why? He's his partner. He answers on his behalf just for the thought, not even for the action. By reason of the level of partnership that that individual is in. I pray that each one of us will ascend in partnership in the name of Jesus. The beauty of partnership is that when you partner with Christ, it empowers our boldness and confidence. And the result is signs, wonders, and diverse miracles. It empowers our boldness and our confidence. And this results in signs, wonders, and diverse miracles. The cheapest way to be a commander of signs is to commit to partnership with God. The moment you partner with God, your boldness is enhanced. And the result is signs, wonders, and diverse miracles begin to take place. I see that becoming somebody's experience here in the name of the Lord Jesus. Acts chapter 4 and verse 20. The apostle said, we cannot but speak of the things which we have heard and we have seen. And the Bible tells us in verse 13, it said, when they saw the boldness of Peter and of John, they took note of them that they had been with Christ. 
When you partner with Christ, you are bold. And what happens when you become bold? Signs and wonders begin to take place. Acts 14 and verse 3, it's a long time a bold day, speaking boldly in the Lord, who gave testimony to the word of his grace and granted that signs and wonders should be done by their hands. They went in boldness and they returned with signs. Every time you find a man or woman that is partnering with God, you will find an individual that is a commander of signs. You become a commander of signs. The miraculous becomes an, a usual happening around you. And that's why we see in Mark 16, 20, he said, he said, they went everywhere preaching. The Lord also walking with them, confirming the word with signs following confirming the word with signs following so everyone on the go for christ is a commander of signs we have had so many testimonies from god and our father how that he will go out preaching in different places you know from all over the community around here and in the process of doing so praying for the people and you see signs and wonders taking place testimonies returning as a result of the of, of that engagement so the empowerment for signs and wonders is enhanced by our commitment to partnering with Christ. Shout hallelujah. And that's why it's important that we continue to do so because there is greater unleashing of empowerment for signs, wonders, and diverse miracles to begin to take place. And as we do so, we will see the hand of God in greater dimension in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody believe it, say it louder, amen. amen. So it's important that we, re that we recognize if I'm on the go for Christ, I'm in partnership with Christ. If I am on the go for Christ, I'm in partnership with Christ. And the partnership is a partnership of choice. When you make the choice to go, God has made the choice to go with you. He becomes your partner. And that partnership assures you of the future. I see that becoming somebody's experience here. In Jesus' name. Will you rise on your feet to me this morning and take grace from God? Lord, I receive grace to sustain my partnership. I receive grace to sustain my partnership. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Pray that prayer. I receive grace, Lord, to sustain my partnership. How do you do that? By remaining on the go for Christ. I receive that grace. They went everywhere. God went everywhere with them. They preached everywhere. God confirmed it with signs and wonders. Lord, I receive grace today. I receive grace today to remain on the go, to remain on the go, to remain on the go for Christ, to do it without wavering, to do it steadfastly, to do it consistently, to do it, oh Lord, steadfastly on a daily basis. Everywhere I find myself, that signs, wonders, and diverse miracles will become the order of the day. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Let God hear the voice of your supplication. You are praying particularly for yourself right now. You are asking God for grace. You are asking God for grace. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. I am what I am by the grace of God. The grace was not in vain. I labored, but not I. The grace was the one working in me. Lord, let that grace be at work in me this morning and all through the rest of this season in the name of Jesus for steadfastness, for continuity, for consistency in stewardship. I receive that grace this morning. I receive that grace this morning. I receive that grace this morning. Are you praying? Make sure your voice is heard on high. You are calling upon the name of the Lord and you are doing so in faith. I received that grace this morning. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You are taking it from him. You are taking it from him. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it, Lord, to remain consistent, not to waver. I take hold of that grace this morning. 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 Lift your hand and lift your voice and thank him right now for the grace. Thank him right now for the grace. Father, thank you for this grace made available to me. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. Grace it's been made available, but the grace works by work. So we engage the grace by being on the go for Christ. 
Operation 10 for Christ 2020 is on another opportunity. Keep diving out there. Every opportunity that you get. Speak to people about Jesus. Become an advertiser for the kingdom of God. Become a reaper in the house of God. And as you do so, you begin to see the presence of God being made manifest around you. Hear this and hear it very well. You may not realize it, but those who go for God, have God go with them. It is an unmistakable reality. You go for God, God goes with you. And it's something that we must see as the partnership reality. And when that comes alive in you, it drives your commitment. I shared this some years ago. I went out so winning. And somebody tapped me and said, you are a Christian. I said, yes. He said, I said, how do you know? He said, because as you are walking, we're doing evangelism. No tract in my hand. Everything was inside my pocket. He said, you are a Christian. I said, how do you know? He said, because I see a light around you as you are walking. There's something around you as you are walking. Just by going for God, there was something that was a canopy. You can't, you, you can't mistake there is a difference, very clear one, in anyone who is going for God. I want you to take advantage of it and watch God decorate you supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Speak to the day right now. What you decree is what it will deliver. What you decree is what, you, what it will deliver. This day is blessed. It is a day of testimonies. It's a day of productivity. There will be strange delivery of souls this day in the name of Jesus. Everyone I speak to, they shall respond. Everyone I call, they shall respond. Everyone I pray for, there will be strange answers in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. We have the flowers available. You pick up what is required. They have been blessed already as sickles of harvest. And as we go forth with them, souls are returning with each one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's share the goodness together in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. It is my year of breaking limits. Then what eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, shall be your experience all through the year 2020. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Congratulations, somebody as you go and be blessed.